Hello everyone and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. My name is Eli Ganim. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a problem that uh, uh, quite a few people has and I, and I always get this uh, questions that uh, I got too much solder on my work, how can I clean it? Well, let's go back to why do you have this problem? Uh, first is because you get too much solder, obviously, and second is um, the flux. Where do you put your flux? So let's go back at the first thing, which is you get too much solder. Uh, th th this is here is uh, it's a bezel, uh, and if you look at the thickness of it. It's about, let me see if you can focus on it. See this? The, the thickness is about half a millimeter. So it's not that much. So if we're looking at having the solder uh, to solder this one on a plate. So I got the plate, you're going to solder it here. And if you take those pellet of solders and put them in, you're going to look at it and see, okay, how much of this pellet is going to expand? Remember, you're just soldering the base here only. Uh, so how much solder do you need to put in there? So put, you know, whatever you think as little as possible. You can almost come back and add um, the area that you didn't solder properly. But most of the time you'll be able to solder the whole thing. So that's the first thing. Um, then uh, I was saying about the flux but before I go there uh, when I have something like that where the bezel is like this what I usually do is I put the solder on the inside of the bezel and this way um, it keeps the outside clean uh, where I'm working so you don't see it on the outside as much as the inside. So even if you have to clean it, you would be probably cleaning the inside more than the outside. Now, the flux. Um, the flux, it helps the solder to go and, and, and um, move towards the area where you have the flux. So if you have a flux uh, all over, uh, all around, and you splash it, uh, then uh, that's what's going to happen. The, with the heat, the solder is just going to move to whatever you have flux. If you don't have the flux, the solder will not move there. So try to control where you're putting your flux. In this video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a a bezel, uh, something similar to that, and soldering the bail. Here, here they are. Could see that that's the the bail and see the bail is very small and you could see the the tip of it it's kind of very tiny see that and it's gonna go into this one here so when I put it in it just it's let me get my finger out of there so when I put it like that it just it's a point that is touching where I have to solder. So have a look when I'm doing the uh, the video, watch where I'm putting my, my flux in there. Um, so two things, the amount of solder that you're putting in and the flux, what are you gonna put it in? So stick around, I'll be back in a second. So here I'm going to add the boric acid and there's a video that I made that you can actually go back and watch it. Take each part and dip it in the solution of the boric acid and the alcohol.
Now I'm going to light it up, but before you do that, make sure you close the lid very, and put it, put it away from uh, the work area. So now when I use the flame, uh, won't have any accident, it catches in fire. So safety first. Okay, now it burns the alcohol out. Just clean up a little bit the butic acid. It just comes like a white powder. Now look at the flux. When I when I put the flux, it's just at the point where I need it. I don't I don't put the flux all over the place. So I just um, like right here, I just put it right on the tip and that's more than enough. So now when when they saw that will flow, it will flow only where the flux is. So this way um, it will not flow all over uh, the place. So if I have it around like if you're doing like I showed you the bezel uh, and uh, the plate the base plate if I put the flux all over the plate uh, when I when I heat up the solder and it starts to flow it's going to flow all over on that plate so then I have to clean it afterwards so just put enough uh, solder uh, with the amount that you basically need and uh, just think of it like, okay, the pellet that you're gonna have when it melts, uh, how much of liquid solder that you're gonna have. And based on that, that you put it in and uh, it, it comes with the experience anyway. Now I'm using the, um, just set them up and using my hummingbirds, usually, I will use like two for each one, but just to show uh, when I'm working and soldering, uh, I just put one. And this will hold, it's over the uh, the bail to hold it in position. Then I put the bezel against it uh, in the right place. So make sure that it's exactly centered. So this way at least, once it's soldered, I don't have to uh, redo it. You know, I'll give you a closer uh, view of what I'm doing here. That looks good. Now I'm just going to start uh, heating. And, and you will notice that I'm putting more heat on the bigger item. So the um, the bail is on the back. Oh, this is fast view right now, so you make it a little bit faster. You can see it is starting to get uh, a little bit red everywhere. And now concentrate on the solder. Now that's it's done. That's all there is to it. So now I'm doing the second one. <clears throat> Here it goes. Make sure it's against. Make sure that uh, you don't touch the hummingbirds that are hot by now. Now I'm going to take both of them and uh, sometimes when the brick is kind of dirty it, it just stick to it but that's not a big deal. Okay so we finished uh, the uh, soldering of the uh, bezel and uh, the bale. 
so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fit the opal. I got the uh, opal capuchon that I'm going to fit them in. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to fit it in uh, and uh, using the prongs. Now this one has uh, four prongs and I'm using this uh, plier specifically for the prongs and one if you look at it you get one side has the groove and that's where the prong will fit the other side it's a little bit longer and it fit at the bottom you can see it here it's a little bit longer uh, the one side on the right the groove is on the side of the left side So when you do it, you do one side, don't close it all the way, just a touch and then go to the opposite prong and also do it a little bit and back and forth and then do the other two. This way you can center your cabochon right between the four prongs. And this way you'll, uh, you'll have a right, right center. That looks good. Now I gotta do this one, it did crack right here. So now I'm going to take it out and uh, probably grind it, make it smaller and change it, put another one in there. Well, that's fine. I can do that later. But now I have this one is done right here. And I got a smaller one that also it's done. There you go. Okay, I hope you liked uh, this video and we learned something out of it. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, comment below. I usually answer all my uh, uh, the question that comes in and I reply to everyone. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. This way, every time I put a new uh, video, uh, you'll get an email and, uh, and it will tell you that the new one is up so you could uh, it's uploaded and you can go ahead and see it so uh, just go on the corner over here you're going to see my picture just click on it and that will get you to subscribe uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you again